Hi everyone, my name is Austin. Have you ever had one of those great ideas that no one's really going to notice or appreciate? Me too! Inflatable pants! What's your- An idea for a My Hero Academia video game. A video game that is unlike most the anime themed video games released in Japan. Let me put it like this. Most video games based on anime are generally divided into three genres. These include fighting games, both 2D and 3D, but mostly 3D, RPGs, whether traditional or action-based, and visual novels, with the occasional 2D platformer or beat-em-up if we're talking Famicom, Super Famicom, and or PC Engine. These are very prevalent in Japan, and thus, when they get it, so does the US, and many anime are guilty of this, including My Hero Academia. As a result, there isn't much variety when it comes to anime-based video games, as it's always another fighting game that resembles Tekken or Power Stone, it's always an RPG made to resemble Final Fantasy or the E series, and it's always another visual novel akin to Danganronpa or Steins Gate, and that's it. No first-person shooters akin to Call of Duty, Halo, Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Half-Life 2, or GoldenEye 007. No third-person shooters similar to Uncharted, Max Payne, Gears of War, Tomb Raider, or Siphon Filter. No hack-and-slash games in the vein of God of War or Devil May Cry. Not even 3D platformers akin to Super Mario 64, Ratchet and Clank, Banjo-Kazooie, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot, or Spyro or even the 2D platformers and side scroll and beat em ups of the NES and Super NES era. It's the same thing over and over again, with little to no variety over in Japan, and thus when we get it, there is yet again, no little to no variety. But you're not here to hear me complain about the anime video game market, as that's Jeremy's job. You're here to hear my idea for a My Hero Academia video game. So, let us discuss what this idea is. The plot for the game is, well, really anything. An adaptation of some of the story arcs for either seasons 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, an adaptation of one of the three movies, or maybe some original plot that's Indiana Jones, The Fugitive, Unbreakable, Predator 2, The Cannonball Run, Aliens, and The Dark Knight all at once, or at least one of those plots from those films. Either way, plot doesn't matter here. It's the gameplay you want to hear about, because that's what people want to see. My idea for the gameplay is, as most people probably want out of a game like this, a big open world to explore and do things in. Not unlike the Yakuza games as well as the Batman Arkham games, which has similar combat to those games, which is free-flowing and frenetic, with the added ability of using any of the characters' as quirks playing into the combat much like Batman's gadgets as well as added elements such as improvised weapons like chairs, bats, whatever you can grab and whack an enemy with, you can use it. But it's more than just beating up foes that you can do with the quirks, as they're also important for certain puzzles, such as Todoroki using ice to create a bridge, or Kaminari's electricity being used as a, for a circuit box lacking power, and of course going to DUR mode, as Kaminari tends to do. And as if beating up bad guys wasn't enough, some characters have so much power that they can destroy anything just by throwing a guy into stuff. From bathroom stalls to the whole floor, anything is destructible depending on the quirk. Not unlike Red Faction Gorilla. But it's not just pummeling villains one by one left and right that makes the game shine, as there's a big open world for you to go and explore and do stuff in. You can engage in certain side quests for certain people to earn certain items or cash, because money will be necessary to get other items, clothing, artwork, music, and potentially other characters. You can also do certain challenges that will test how you can do with the quirk or if you can handle it without the quirk. Participate in slot car races, bumper cars, mad libs, and other little things. And, if Bandai Namco will sign off on this, play certain arcade games like Rolling Thunder, Ace Driver, Felios, Felios! Why? The 
<laughs> okay, maybe not that one. But the other possible titles include Burning Force, Galaxian 3, Soul Edge, and the Titan Crisis series. The world is big, and free roaming around it will also bring into conflict with other baddies, which you can choose to either ignore or fight them, as well as interact with NPCs for side quests and such. Speaking of NPCs, you can interact with plenty of them in the pretty explorable UA High, complete with staff, teachers, and students, where you can also participate in class to learn new moves and gain new gadgets courtesy of Mei Hatsume, but not before the test prototype explodes, of course. And depending on the character you choose, yes, there are multiple playable characters, those being Azuka Midoriya, Ochako Uraraka, Tenya Ida, Katsuki Bakugo, Tsuyu Asui, Ezra Kirishima, Momoyaya Rozu, Mina Ashido, Shoto Todoroki, Fumikagi Tokiyami, Tenki Kaminari, Kyokushiro, among others, as well as a potential option to create your own character. There will be different dialogue exchanges depending on that character and in keeping with said character's personality. He even has certain choices depending on the NPC. While these don't affect how the character is seen by others, nor does it affect the ending, it doesn't end like a downer or like in Blowout, and you can't have a negative influence on the good guys, only neutral, good, or great, it can, inf it can affect the story, and depending on whether you decide to befriend certain characters or not, can have different outcomes to a situation. Yes, befriend. As if you want, you can try to make friends with certain characters, and if you become buddy-buddy with them, they can assist you in battle and even take control of them when your main guy or gal gets knocked out. You don't have to do this, and most remain acquaintances with your classmates, but sometimes it's good to make friends, especially when they can help level the playing field. Meaning you can have a Shokirishima befriend Mezo Shoji, or Shoto Todoroki befriending Toru Hugakure, meaning you have someone to talk to, and someone to give you assistance. And this is something for all those fan fiction writers out there. You can pursue relationships with certain characters, not unlike most Bioware RPGs such as Jade Empire, Dragon Age, and of course, the Mass Effect trilogy. And whoever your waifu is, or whoever fuels the women's sexual fantasies, you can pursue that relationship, although I doubt you're going to see them getting it on, since... At best, this will be a T-rated game, and nothing too graphic in terms of peeking a little T and A. But still, if you want to see Izuka Midoriya and Momo Yayorozu going out for ice cream, they're getting two scoops each. Want to see Suyu Asui, his long tongue making contact with Shoto Todoroki's tongue? You got it. Ochaku Uraraka and Denki Kaminari dancing the night away? Break out the Phil Collins because the slow dancing is about to start. And should you want to see Katsuki Bakugo and Mina Ashido in the same bed together, and to get a little roll in the hay during the night... Hello. Would you like to have a roll in the hay? It's fun! Roll, roll, roll in the hay! Roll. Oh my. Roll in the hay. Your wish has been granted. But it's not just the good guys where the dialogue options are present, as you can also encounter the bad guys where you can make decisions, where you can try and rationalize with them, assert your authority as a hero, or simply screw with them. Whether you want answers through interrogation, convince them to join your side, or at least get them to cooperate. Or just get them to fight you for attention or for distraction. Again, there is no bad ending, and some things just happen regardless, but little things like this can affect how the villains see you, and how they they will try to get to you personally. So that's the gameplay. An open world Batman Ar open world game with Batman Arkham style combat, Yakuza-esque side stuff, and a dialogue system akin to Bioware RPGs. A neat idea, complete with multiple characters, including a potential create your own character idea. Although, if just the idea of a Batman Arkham-style combat is solely what the My Hero Academia game is, that'll do just fine. But the presentation is where things will seem normal, and yet a little weird. When it comes to graphics, I feel that a cel-shaded art style would work best, 
helping to capture the anime aesthetic, not unlike most anime games that do use this style, such as the ones we keep getting every damn time. For audio, I suspect that the composer for the series would most likely contribute to the soundtrack, as well as include music from the, sh from the show. Unless the game suddenly gets John Williams or James Newton Howard on board to do the music, in that case it's going to be awesome. I mean, if it also had songs by Phil Collins, Sammy Hagar, Breaking Benjamin, Iron Maiden, and Foo Fighters, that would also kick ass. But anyway, for voiceovers, I suspect that the Japanese voice cast would provide the necessary voices for the characters they voice. And the same would apply to the English voice cast. Meaning, Justin Briner voices Izuka Midoriya, Lucy Christian all voices Ochako Uraraka, J. Michael Tatum voices Tenya Ida, Clifford Chapin voices Katsuki Bakugo, and Christopher Sabat voices All Might. Overall, the usual suspects. Nothing new here. The potential created characters are also voiced, in my mind. With such voice ca such casting ideas like big name celebs Tom Holland, Christian Slater, Nev Campbell, and Anna Paquin, along with normal voice actors and actresses like Ben Diskin, Troy Baker, Roger Craig Smith, Brian Donovan, John DiMaggio, Tom Kenny, Billy West, Rachel Lillis, Jeremy Lee, Michelle Ruff, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, Jennifer Hale, Tress McNeil, and Gray Delisle. I know, most of those aren't really anime voice actors, but they felt they fit the bill for the creative character's voice. But if for some strange reason, whether it be rights issues or simply the English voice cast can't do the game, then that's where things could get bonkers. So I'm going to ask that you brace yourselves for the weirdness I'm about to share with you. So for the made-up voice cast because of rights issues or whatever, the cast shall consist of, and bear with me here, Justin Roiland as Izuku Midoriya, because some people say that Izuku sounds like Morty. Well, now Morty himself voices the character. Excuse me. Complete with similar, if not the same, mannerisms of Morty. Ochako Uraraka? Well, since Lucy Christian voiced Amelia Will Tesla Seirun in Slayer's Premium, it's only fitting that the original Amelia and one of my personal favorite voice actresses of all time, if not my all-time favorite, Veronica Taylor, voices the character, helping to capture the kind and warm nature of the character. That or Stephanie Shea. Either one works. Tanya Ida, voiced by Crispin Freeman, who I actually thought was voicing the character at one point, only to find out that wasn't the case. Either way, he could nail it down. That or Cam Clark. Katsuki Bakugo, Johnny on Bosch. Don't ask why, he just knows how to do the angry part, no questions asked. And as for All Might, while some may want Jeff Bennett to do the voice simply because of the whole Johnny Bravo meme, in reality his normal voice would be Kyle Katarn and the All Might voice would just be Dexter's dad. So we must opt for Ron Perlman as All Might, as that sounds the most badass to me. But then there are other casting choices like either Kevin Conroy or James McCaffrey as Mr. Aizawa, Steve Bloom as Eijiro Kirishima, D. Bradley Baker as Hanta Saro, Kristen Schaal as Suyu Asui, Yuri Lowenthal as Denki Kaminari, Nolan North as Shota Todoroki, and if he were to do this character, despite not having voiced the character besides Ty since 2006, Joshua Seth as Hawks. Not necessarily bad choices, but definitely out there casting choices. But most likely the main voice cast will do their roles for the game. Although it's always important to have a backup plan because life is full of surprises. Overall, this is my idea for a My Hero Academia video game. Which will probably never get greenlit because every other anime game, while still the same thing every time, still makes the cash to make more of those. But, hey, a man can dream. And that is my idea for a My Hero Academia video game. It's pretty much uh, the My Hero Academia formula with the quirks and stuff, 
cross with the Batman Arkham style combat and a dial and a potential dialogue tree akin to something like the Mass Effect games or any Bioware RPG for that matter. Stuff like that that would Jeff definitely seem like an awesome game. But let me know in the comments down below what your idea for a My Hero Academia video game is. Whether it's a 3D platformer, maybe it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up akin to Streets of Rage or something like that. Just whatever it could be. And also let me know what you think of those decisions of the voice actors and potential weird what-if scenarios. If you can't get the real voice cast there, who do you cast instead? Because that could get interesting and that could get weird. So, with that, I will catch you later. I'll see you next time.